Hi, I'm Andy Burrows for Tides TV, and I'm here with Tristine Dietrich, who's the uh, Senior Project Manager of CMC and Preclinical at Index Pharmaceuticals. Thank you very much for joining today. Thank you for having me. Um, so firstly, um, could you just tell me a little bit about Index and your role? Yes, yes, definitely. So Index is a Swedish drug development company, and um, Index has a broad portfolio of um, single-strain DNA oligonucleotides uh, that all have the potential in inflammatory diseases. Uh, the lead candidate that we have is called Cobitolimod, and it's in a late-stage clinical development for ulcerative colitis. Uh, ulcerative colitis is an inflammatory bowel disease, so chronic inflammation of the colon, and uh, these patients are suffering from a very frequent and um, um, blood and mucus mixed uh, diarrhea. So it has a very negative impact on, on the life quality. Mm. And in the field of uh, ulcerative colitis, uh, cobitolimod has uh, acted with a new mode of action. Uh, it's a so-called toll-like receptor 9 agonist. So it's an immunomodulator. And uh, in that way, it represents a potential first-in-class drug candidate uh, for patients with ulcerative colitis. Uh, and my role at INDEX is, on the one hand, to manage the CMC activities, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, ensuring that the drug substance and the drug product are manufactured with the um, right quality. Uh, and on the other hand is to manage and overview the preclinical activities, so ensuring that the uh, safety toxicology studies are performed also in, in a proper way. Okay, and um, am I right in saying you've recently obtained some positive results from a clinical phase 2b um, study. Yeah. Um, could you tell me a little more, bit more about that as well? Yeah, so this is very exciting. So um, INDEX initiated in, in June 2017, we initiated a, a phase 2B clinical study though in patients uh, suffering from um, moderate to severe ulcerative colitis. And we reported uh, in August this year the, the, the results, positive results. So the study was designed as a dose optimization study uh, in 215 patients. Mm -hmm. And not only we did meet the primary endpoint, in that case a clinical remission uh, compared to placebo, uh, but we also um, confirmed the extremely good safety profile of cobitolimod, and we also identified which dose to continue further in the development program. So it's really the uh, combination, the outstanding combination of safety and efficacy that make cobitolimod as a uh, very good drug candidate for patients in ulcerative colitis. Okay, yeah. and um, Index is a, an SME company. Um, what, from your perspective, do you see as the main challenges um, as this sort of company? Yeah, um, so small company, so small number of employees, uh, and, and often we don't have all of the competence in-house. So we, of course, have to um, identify the right partners that are going to bring and complement the, 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 the knowledge in-house. And, and that might be a, a challenge in identifying the right one. And I would say also bringing in the partner early enough in the development program so they really gain an in-depth understanding of, of the project. And with that, it's also limited financial resources. So you usually, I mean, use the money wisely. Right. <laughs> uh, and uh, for example, I can give on the CMC side, it might be good to spend a little more money today for manufacturing a larger batch of drug substance, uh, where you will only collect the data and need the data in a few years down the line for the clinical trial application, but it, to think about it now. Uh, but I want to finish on a positive note that it's not only like negative <laughs> challenge, I think it's also good in a small company. Uh, you have very short uh, time to decision yeah. and very short implementation time also. Yeah, so you can yeah. be more agile. And yes, yes, mm. yeah. And looking forwards, um, what's uh, Index doing? What's the strategy going yeah. forward? So uh, the strategy now is really to advance cobitolimod toward the phase three. Uh, and we plan right now to have the first patient enrolled in the um, second half of 2020. So it's very close. Mm. Uh, so we have many activities ongoing or planned for the near future. Uh, it's interaction with the regulatory authorities, uh, the FDA and the EMA. 
uh, it's going to be manufacturing the drug substance, so we can make the drug product to support the phase three. Um, market research, um, fine tuning the clinical protocol for the phase three, setting up the CRO, helping us with the clinical study. Mm -hmm. So we have many activities, but the good thing is that uh, we um, secure uh, the financing of all of these activities. Uh, and we did uh, by a, a directed share issue to both Swedish investors and international investors of $14 million. And that was done in September, uh, just a few weeks after the uh, top line results were announced. Exciting times then. Yes, yes, it's very exciting, yeah. Good luck yeah. with everything and thank you very much for joining today. Thank you, thank you very much.